Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In today's class, we're going to learn how to typecast variables. Let's consider the basic structure of a C program. And we're going to add two variables called int value 1 is equal to 5 and int value 2 is equal to 2. And we're going to have int answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to say answer is equal to value 1 divided by value 2. Now we've seen an, an example more or less in the same way as this one before, where we changed everything to floating values to have the correct output. So let's quickly do that. So the answer is percentage F. So we changed everything to floating points for the only two values after the comma. And we said answer. And we've changed all the floats, everything, all the variables to float. And we can quickly run it and see what's the answer. So the answer is 2.5. Just add a new line. So the answer is 2.5. But let's say, for instance, we come across a problem where we have integers and we can't change it back or change it to floating values. We need the, inti the values or the, the variables to be actually integers. And we can't change it to float. We have a problem because 5 divided by 2 with um, integer is then equal to 2. Let's quickly just go and test that. If we just take the answer of, of 1 divided by 2, value 1 divided by value 2 using integer, the answer will be 2. So let's quickly go and verify that. Now the reason why this answer is going to be equal to 2 is because integer can't handle anything after the comma. It throws it away. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, but the 0.5 is thrown away. So we're left with 2. And that's a little bit of a problem. We actually want the 2.5. So let's say we want answer to be a floating value. And we hope that if answer is a float, then 5 divided by 2, we will store that 2.5. So let's go and run this still gives us this weird output because we are trying to display a floating value with percentage d so we need to change it to percentage f if we run this now again you will see the answer is 2.00000 so you can still see it's a floating value but not the correct answer so the problem lies here what can we do to change this? So, one thing we can do is we type cost a variable to a different type. Type cost. Okay, so what we normally do is we take the first value and we just go and write float. What this actually does is it changes value 1 to a floating value okay so why is when we do any calculation in c programming the highest order type will determine what is the type of the answer so float has a higher order than int so if there's two values one divided by the other one and the one is a float that's a higher order than int and then the answer will be of type float so if we change value one type to float then our overall answer will be of type float so let's quickly see what happens there we have it the answer is 2.5 so that's Type casting 
Now, just to illustrate this example in a different way, let's say, for instance, we don't have value 2. We have only value 5. And we want to divide value 1 with 2. We can also use a different method. It's also a kind of type costing, but just in a different way. So what we do is, this is an integer, and this is an integer, because there's no comma values. So value 1 is integer divided by an integer. So we can change 2 to a floating point just by adding a point 0. So we're creating it as a floating value. So value 1 divided by a floating value will result in an answer that's of type float. And then if we run this, you will see the answer is also 2.5. So there you have it. There's two ways of typecasting. The original me method where we use round brackets with float and we're forcing a value to a different type in order to have a, a different type so that we can obtain a different type for the answer, for instance. And we can also use just a basic method of when we have a value, we add a point zero to have a floating point, a floating value, and a floating value that will determine the type of the answer. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.